my name is Clay from Clay for Ant and yes I managed to squeeze in another little lesson for you it's a quick tip it's about gesso well, not so much about gesso it's mainly I had a, I had a question um, from a subscriber about ground what's a ground well it's not something you walk upon although with that is a ground or it is a ground a ground a ground is it's a pigment it's um, something that we we'll put on the canvas to get rid of that bright white effect there was we all know canvases come like that and they and canvas is white it's got gesso on it but when we come to paint something we need to put an under color on there that's it and it's going to be prevalent prevalent yes yeah, it's going to be prevalent to what you were painting now i particularly like darker grounds but it's entirely up to you um, Leonardo da Vinci said um, the canvas should be washed with um, a light coating of black because everything in nature is dark except where the light hits. Um, don't shoot the messenger, that's what Leonardo da Vinci said. And you might be wondering why have I got my hat on? Well, I don't know. I just felt like I've been back and forward, it's been raining today, so um, and I thought, well, I put my hat on to keep my head from getting wet and it's stuck on my head and it stayed there. So, okay, we will get rid of that in one minute ground right do you use acrylic or gesso question what do you think well you might be right you might be wrong um, I personally wouldn't use just acrylic because you need a bit of a key for it to go on to um, ideally you, you, you could have put a gesso on now gesso comes in different colors but there's absolutely no need for you to go out and buy anything besides white or black now, if you use a lot of black gesso it's brilliant if you don't use a lot of black gesso don't waste your money and go and buy it you can always mix ultramarine blue and burnt umber together and that should make you um, a nice dark gray as a gesso um, but if you're not going to use black per se don't bother buying it that's what I say I use a lot of black but that's my personal choice okay um, there we go um, what do we do well I like using dark grounds um, and you can mix um, your acrylic into your gesso uh, gesso is a bit more chalky but that's the na nature of it it's not plastic pollen based like the acrylic now, I'm not going to confuse the issue Basically, you can mix acrylic with gesso to make a tint or a ground to put on your canvas before you start the paint. So, ideally, you put the, the gesso on whatever colour you want, let it dry, and then you do your pencil work or a sketch out or whatever you want to do, and then you'll paint on top of the gesso like you would if it was just white. Does that make sense? I think it does. I'm not too sure. My head is starting to hurt. I think that be as <laughs> I think that's because my bend of my head is a bit tight. So we'll get that and chuck it onto the hat rack. Nice. First time. My name is Borden, James Borden, 007 license to kill that I can throw my hat onto my coat stand. Yes. Alright, so let's have a look at how we mix how 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 we mix the glasser. Yes, my teeth are still not working. I'm having a few problems with my speech, I don't know. Um, it's the old problems I had with the stroke, basically, but you don't need to know that. It doesn't worry you. I'm happy and happy, healthy and terrific. Yes. Okay, so let's get to the bench. There we go. Okay, so this is another working bench, as you know. Um, it's an old mechanics bench. Let me just get tidy. All right, All right there we are. It's a mechanics bench, and this is where I do all my paint mixing. So, um... Yes, let's get one of these little tubs. Now, um, a canvas like the size you, I've got behind me, which is um, one of these, and that's a 30 by 40 centimeter. Normally takes about two of these little things from <whistles> I'm living it place, and um, yes, they make lovely burgers. So, we need to put some gesso in there, mix some gesso up. Okay, so we'll just put two of them out. I got some gesso in that one, so we'll use that up as we go in. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we get our gesso, which is in our squeezy bottles, uh, because it's easy to decant. So we'll need to put a little bit in there and a little bit in there. We're not too worried about the actual color, 
because it's a ground per se. Um, get an old paintbrush, there we are. So we need that for stirring or anything. So um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go up as raw sienna. I don't want to go too dark. So I'll put about two peas worth in there and two peas worth in there. And when I say pea, I mean a size of a pea. But it depends, as I said before, how big your peas are. Yes, I might have big peas in Wales. I don't know what size peas are in around the world. Anyway, we'll mix that together like that. There we go. And it's not too dark. It's just a nice colour. Now, obviously, when you mix in uh, a dark colour with white, it's going to lighten. So that's actually quite a nice flesh tone. Look at that. Look. That's a good base for a flesh tone, that is. We'll be talking about flesh tones in the new year. Yes, you've seen all the charts behind me. And um, I'm in the process of doing a, um, a, t a new tutorial. Um, I'm, You know the uh, one I said about the um, colour wheel? Well, that's quite old now. And I wasn't happy with it when I when I first videoed it. Um, it didn't come out exactly as I wanted it. But I left it on uh, YouTube for you beginners. Let's go back because um, well I did it and it, it, it serves a purpose and it gets my point across but at the end of the day um, I can go a little bit more in depth with that now so you need to get yourself a three-quarter flat there we are okay I'm just making sure that's gone quite hard actually let me soak that in there pot to get some trusty kitchen roll and what is a ground now you can use uh, you can use a, a um a, a common house brush you oh, uh, i got one of these for nylon one inch brushes you can use one of them or you can use a conventional house brush i shall be doing a, a painting demonstration with one of these in the new year yes i will it's because i think that if you go if you were using little paint brushes like this and you're painting like that to use one of these it's a bit of a shock to the system, so but you'd be surprised on the results you can get with one of these. Yeah, so I'll show you that. Anyway, you can use one of them if you want to, um, and that's it, really. You 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 basically select a brush, but I personally uh, like using these. So, okay. Um, what you could do, you could start with the edge first. So you need to go down the edge as such. Up to down and down the other edge. Now, again, um, I normally do this three times, but that's personal preference. You can gesso it normally with uh, two coats of plain white, and then you can put your ground on. But because this is, I would say, 90% gesso, I always do um, the actual canvas. Um, three times so with this no <coughs> you can't put that anywhere now can you really because it's wet right? yeah now if you want if you like me um and you can't wait for it to dry but, but then you can stand around there, i guess for 10 minutes but i don't recommend you do that get the hair dryer yes that's what they for not just for blowing the old locks they're for drying paintings as well. Nice. And as if by magic. So we dry the edge. And it will soon be Christmas. I'm quite looking forward to it. So don't get, if, you're, if you're a beginner, don't go and um, get pulled into this scenario that you've got to buy everything now you don't you just need a basic selection of brushes and actually you only need three colors red yellow and blue and you can mix every single color yes you can and i'll be showing you how to do that and i'll be able to save you money as well so we just go around the edge of this now and this is one of my training campuses it's what i use to do the lessons with for yourselves on youtube 
and um, it's been used many many times and it's just about ready to be thrown away in the bin so I think I'll be able to do one more lesson on this and then we'll have to throw it in the bin now you can do it portrait or you can do it landscape it's entirely up to you I shall do it a portrait and um, once the edges are dry it's not a, you don't have to worry too much about doing the edges three times as I said I know that most of these gallery wrap canvases are painted however um, you know it's not a major part of the painting really is it so as long as the main surface of the painting gets covered with gesso at least a minimum of three coats and that's what I do recommend and then we just apply the ground onto the canvas now as I said depending on what you're painting um, it really does reflect on what type of ground you need so you know you can warm up a color a painting by having a, a nice warm background or, or ground I should say or you can have a nice cool ground it is down to you at the end of the day you, you know you'll know what color to put on as I said I normally go quite dark um, because I like working off a dark surface and I'll always go dark to light now if I was doing a portrait it would be something similar to this um, or I would pick a mid-tone uh, color of the skin uh, maybe a little bit Pay a cooler than this, a, what I should say cooler, a bit more a lighter than this with a little bit more red in it so it's a bit more pink so it's like a mid-tone colour of the skin and then uh, that's what I would put down as a ground because I'd already have my mid-tones in place wouldn't I? Yes, yeah, so all I have to do is some highlights and some, um, some shadows and I'm, I'm, I'm halfway there isn't that easy? Yes. Okay so I lied one of these you need I was thinking of another canvas, but it doesn't matter, I'll put this in my um, my wet palette and I'll be able to keep it for next time. But yes, one of these you need, so, and that should be enough there for another coat block, there's plenty in there, so, anyway, I don't need that, I'm going to chuck that away. That's why they I use those, because you can throw them away. Wash in the brush, as we should, in some dirty water. <clears throat> going into some soap, working that soap into the bristles right up to the ferrule and then rinsing it again into the dirty water, getting some kitchen roll, taking, uh, making sure there's no paint and then you go straight into the clean water just to make sure there is no pigment left in the bristles otherwise it'll go hard and you won't be able to use it. But there is a way around that but you will need to look at my tips. Anyway that's it. That's all the ground is. As simple as that. It's it's a colour that you put down. Um, don't I wouldn't recommend you painting straight onto a white canvas because one it, it plays havoc with the eyes and it's harder for you to pick up the mid tones and that out of the painting. Um, I would suggest you use a mid tone for whatever you're going to be painting. So it's as simple as that. Um, go and reiterate in, like I said, if this was a, a portrait of a person. Um, then I would pick the, the mid-tone, as close to the mid-tone as I could, mix up with a bit of gesso, throw it on the canvas, let it dry and then I'll do my pencil work and then I would proceed with the underpainting and then from there and half the work is already done for me. It's as simple as that. That is what a ground is. Now, please have a go with that and try it. Um, let me know what you think. Please, 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 please don't be afraid to contact me on, um, on Facebook, on um, my website on my email, um, anything like that, because um, I'm here to help, and that's that's the most important thing. Anyway, I'm Clive from Clive's Art. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it's been a bit quick, but um, these tips I just want to get in and out and away. So um, yeah, I'll fit this one into um, this week now, which is the 12th of November. Um, and yes, have fun. And we've got a weekly update coming up now. Is another YouTube video being uploaded on Friday. I'm trying to get through a weekend. So, um, weekly update on Sunday. Don't forget those weekly updates on Sunday because the Sunday updates will tell you what's coming up and they're very important. So, a weekly update on Sunday. Don't forget, join me on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up. I'm Clive and Clive's up. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.